it's Joe from MartinsonManufacturing.com, your one-stop shop for leak-free exhaust venting solutions for your Glowforge laser cutter or AC Infinity inline fan. If you've tried everything you can think of to try and mitigate the fumes that you're smelling from your laser cutter, your hose might be the culprit. And today I want to talk about hoses. And there's really not much to talk about because this one sucks and this one is phenomenal. Actually, this one develops tiny little pinholes so it blows fumes out of it so it sucks and it blows. So let's get into why this one sucks and this one's awesome. So I'll be honest, if you're keeping this hose static and it's not being moved, you might get away with it. But a lot of us, this is what happens. We take our hose, we put it out our window to exhaust the fumes, we take it back in the house. We put it out, we take it back in the house. As you're moving this thing over and over, the material's starting to break down, it's cracking, and you're gonna get tiny little pinholes. So I was having that issue myself. I couldn't figure out where the fumes were coming from. I saw some people in the Facebook uh, Glowforge groups talking about these hoses. Sure enough, I look through it under the sunlight and I can see a constellation of all these little, tiny little pinholes of light coming through it, and that was my issue. So. I trashed this, opted for a better hose, and I've not had a single issue since. What on, another thing I don't like about this hose is I feel like the diameter is too big. Whether you're going straight to the back of the Glowforge or you're going on to the exhaust port extension, if you care anything about mitigating exhaust fumes, you should be using the exhaust port extension. You can tell it goes on too sloppy. It doesn't have a nice tight fit to begin with. So to illustrate that point, we've all had a pair of pants that are too big and we think, heck, I'll just tighten my belt tighter. But it gets weird. You get these weird pleats in your pants and the material starts to buckle. Same thing with your hose. You think, I'll just tighten it up with a screwdriver with one of these clamps. I'll bear down on it, tighten it up, get it nice leak free. Not gonna happen. The material is gonna buckle and at those points, you're gonna be leaking fumes out of it. So. I would get rid of this hose and opt for a real hose. I've been, not sure what that is. I've been using these spring clamps the entire time I've used my Glowforge. I've never used one of these screw clamps that you tighten down with a screwdriver and I don't need to because I have a tight connection at every single point from the hose to the back of the Glowforge, from my hose to the AC Infinity fan for the reducers that I've created. I've never needed to bear down on it because the exhaust adapters I've created have a tight seal to begin with. And if there's one thing to take away is no amount of clamping or taping can make up for a poor connection. You need a, to start with a tight mechanical fit to begin with. That's where this hose comes into play. First, this one's one ply, this one's four ply. So it's nice and durable. If you've used the AC Infinity fans, you know they create quality products. The hose is really nice. I love the look of it. It just looks gorgeous. And finally, most importantly to me and to solve our issues is the diameter is a lot tighter. So it fits on your exhaust port extension a lot tighter. I even have a hard time getting it on myself even though I've put it on so many times. I have to screw it on to kind of twist to get it on. And once it's on, you almost don't even need a hose clamp. Use a hose clamp, but I'm just saying just to illustrate a point. So again, no amount of clamps or tapes can make up for a poor connection to begin with. You want a nice tight connection. This hose will give you a nice tight connection while being thick enough and it won't develop pinholes over time. So that being said, trash this guy, use a real hose. I'll put the link in the description. I don't get compensated for telling you to buy this. I'm not, I'm not gonna have an affiliate link down below. I just wanna help you mitigate the fumes. I know how frustrating it can be. This is only, I think, uh, 12 bucks on Amazon, by the way, so a pretty small investment to potentially eliminate the issue that you're having. So about two and a half, three years ago when I got started, I was having this issue and it drove me crazy. And I stopped and I didn't do a single thing until I created a solution. So I started creating adap adapters, components to try and fix this issue. So that's why this whole business uh, started was to help 
first my solution and then help others create leak-free uh, connection points for their uh, Glowforge or other laser cutters because smelling fumes in your house is incredibly frustrating. So that's all I do as a full-time job now because these adapters uh, became so successful. So I hope uh, this is a help to you. If you're having issues, try checking out your hose. That might be the culprit. This is only about 12 bucks, low cost investment, and you're just gonna love this. It's a nice quality hose that's gonna get, you're gonna get a lot of use out of it, and uh, it's gonna fit so much better. So I hope this video was a help to you. I hope I can help you mitigate the fumes that you're smelling. Any of the exhaust adapters that I sell on my website have a leak-free guarantee. If you use one and you think it's leaking at a connection point, shoot me one email, I'll give you a refund and you can keep the part. So I stand behind these 100%. They're gonna serve you really well. This is my mission is to help, uh, help you mitigate the fumes that you're experiencing because that's such a headache. So thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Oh,